Hi guys, Adam here, your Omega Quest DM. And we've got here the pretty well finished work of the graveyard that I was building. Got all the painting done and all the landscape features are done. The graves are all covered up and basically all the graveyard features, the open grave here. And while I was doing this, I went ahead and made some gates that I could sit around around the open areas to make this a uh, little more like a, uh, a mausoleum type area that these could go into other parts of the uh, graveyards and into some other buildings that are going to be. I decided not to put the mausoleum here. I'm going to build it and have it be a separate entity off to itself. So uh, I may post something else about that later on or maybe not but um, got call out some of the features here that we've got we have here a, a sculpty statue that I've done that is kind of a, a brickwork face skull on the front of this here and uh, then something else is going to be a clue for the party that the open grave leads to this statue and as they come over here, if they will animate this, uh, it will speak and give them some clues as to some things to do and some other places to go. If they, uh, if they will pay attention and notice that a couple of the graves have not been dug in. Some of the graves, if you notice, they have been dug and refilled, but two of the graves have not been bothered. If they will dig in those graves, they will find some clues to some parts of the mystery of their campaign also. And these are always some things that I like to include into my games, things that will make the person think, and they might find the items there, and then again, they might not. And there's been lots of treasure and lots of things in my games in the past that people have gone past. And for example, the local store and They've never gone into it and never seen anything about it or found anything else out. Also, I have this uh, statue that I did. I just did it in primer gray. Uh, just basically spray painted it. And it's a primer gray statue. And I'm going to have it be over here in the corner overlooking uh, this graveyard. Kind of an ominous looking statue. But I really liked uh, the way that that looks. And I have some other statues that I can paint and put in other places. But just thought I would give you a quick update on the graveyard. I'm calling this one finished for right now. And my terrain, guys, is playable terrain. Uh, after we play this, I may take some of these pieces back off. I don't build terrain to sell. I build it to play with and for our games. And once I'm finished with that, I may repurpose it, reuse it, whatever. So... You know, if there's little errors in it, little flaws, things like that, that, you know, as long as it fits the build to do the game, that's primarily what I'm interested in. So uh, what I'm making is playable terrain, stuff that is cheap, affordable, stuff that I can repurpose, reuse later on. You might see some of these components later on in something else. Who knows? I reserve the right to just totally strip this thing down and start over, but... Maybe not. Keep it. Maybe the next time I need the other graveyard, there it is. Well, this is Adam, Omega Quest DM, just giving you an update on the graveyard, calling this one finished, no longer a work in progress. Check it off. It's done. Thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. As always, may the dice roll in your favor.